be a video on stretching ears from size, from getting from the size 5, 8 to 3 fourths. Um, I personally struggled with that gap size. Um, it was pretty big. I used tapers and taping and they did not work for me. Like they, the tape, I feel like the gap was too big so the tape was like kind of hard to like keep making it bigger with the tape and the tape would kind of just like slip off because I don't know it was complicated but um this was the first time using this new method I used um silicone I used the silicone method I know you're not supposed to use them but I mean I still did and my ears are pretty healthy I mean I think they're pretty good they don't hurt it didn't hurt when I stretched them um I tried just stretching with the three fourths one, but it didn't work. It wouldn't even like, it just kind of stayed like this when I put it in my ear and it didn't stretch it. So I bought the half size. Um, I can't remember what, I think it was like, I don't even remember what size it was, but this is a half size. I'll put it like right here, what size it is. And it worked. Um, I had this, these two which is the half size for about two weeks and then I was using jojoba oil and vitamin E oil, I was rubbing them and then I went ahead and went up to three fourths which is where I'm at right now um, I thought I'd give that out for as some advice, I bought them on Amazon for like eight dollars a pair and it worked pretty good for me so I mean, I would definitely recommend it. It didn't hurt at all. And yeah, they're really healthy now. I feel like I can stretch it to the next size right now, but I'm going to keep using the silicone method. And also, I wanted to say, um, I got my nipples pierced. And since, like, I was talking about body modifications and stuff, yeah, um, I've had, I got them the week before June, like that Saturday before June started. Like, I think it was May 30th or something like that. Um, yeah, I, it was kind of just on impulse. I mean, I had kind of been planning on it for a while, but then me and my friend, we just decided to go and just get it done already. I mean, I had already been talking about it, so I just kind of wanted to get it done. And my parents don't know about them. And I kind of, I'm already 18 and I already graduated, so like, I mean, I, I don't think they could do anything about it. I mean, it's already done. So, and I kind of wanted to get, like, more piercings, like, I wanted to, get, I've had my septum pierced, but I did that on my own, and it was kind of, like, crooked, I guess, so I took it out, um, and I've had my lip pierced, but I took that out, like, right away, because I just didn't like the way it looked. Um, but yeah, anyways, bought it, they're still healing, they're still, like, really tender, like, when I touch them and, like, move the jewelry, and when it... When I actually got it done, it like this was the most painful piercing personally. Like she did I have both of them and like I still went with it. Like I just did it. I didn't cry. I was just like fuck. Like I I don't know, it was just it hurt really bad. I guess it was like a eight out of ten. Um like it hurt way worse than my septum and I did that one myself and that one didn't hurt at all. Like my septum was like probably a three out of ten. And my lip was like nothing, like I didn't even feel it, it was like a shot. So, I mean, everyone's different, but like my nipples were the most painful part. Well, my nipples were the most painful piercing I've gotten so far. So, yeah. Alright.